there's a long list of things that any leader has to get right. Mm. Whether it's for profit or non-profit, doesn't matter. If it's for profit, you've got to have a really good product. It's got to mm-hmm. be well developed. It's got to be tested. It's right. got to meet a real need. Yeah. You need really good marketing to understand your market, know who the customers are, know where they are. You have to have a really good offer and you have to have good pricing and you have to be able to get your messaging out to those customers. You gotta have good technology. You gotta be able to build. Wow. As somebody at Bell Southwood, the leader of our Bell South organization used to say, if you can't bill it, it's just a hobby. <laughs> and that's true. You have to have really good operations because you have to deliver, you have to have salespeople who can really find a customer's need and mm-hmm. really develop that prospect and sell. You need good customer service. And you need, all of those things are important. You need good finance. You gotta get the right capital in the right places. Mm-hmm. But all of those hard aspects of running an organization are fueled by people. Mm, that's good and if point. you overlook the human dimension of those, you will leave potential, uh, untapped potential on the table. And no leader wants to leave untapped potential on the table. No. So tackling that human dimension through influence instead of authority mm. can make a huge difference on how well an organization thrives. Yeah, I like the way you put that, in influence instead of authority, um, because that that's... That's a different, that's a whole, you know, management just sounds like authority, doesn't it? It's if, if I'm in management. It's like science and it's spreadsheets and it's right. telling somebody, you know, use a clipboard, go do this, go do that. And those things have to happen oh, in an organization. Right. But how you do those that's things right. yeah. makes all the difference in the world. All, yeah, it's funny. We've got, we just got a puppy for Christmas. And... Um, <laughs> So in the morning. So you have a new boss. So I have a new and boss. And it barks every and it morning. it barks every morning. Tells but you when to go outside. It, but and I, in the morning, it, you know, it's funny about influences, is in the morning, he likes to eat before he goes outside. But I know that if he doesn't go outside first, I'm going to have to clean something mm. up. So the way I, inf- so I, in the beginning, I was kind of like just, he was small enough that I could pick him up and take right. him outside. Well, now he's, he's, a, he's a little bigger, so I can't. Just grab him because he's quicker than I am. So the influence is, is I, is I praise him and I give him a little treat. And now he just he just come, goes right outside. There's no there's no argument, right. right? But but you know it's so funny that you know just thinking about the the, the puppy and and management. It's it's so much easier with that positive influence than um, you know yelling or screaming or or uh, uh, having the clipboard and, and managing.